Let's face it. Either you're cool or you're not. Either you have it or you don't. Either you're a nerd or you're somewhere in between. It's not something that you could actually learn in school. You don't go to school to be cool. You're born with it. It's a trait. Unfortunately, most of you people out there would be in the nerd division. That's right. Like the few, the proud, who are just born cool people. And that's what we find in this week's Parsha. That's right. And more. El HaKohanim. Shala. I'm Levi Chazan from Yerushalayim. In this week's Parsha, we learn about the Kohanim, a cut above the rest. It's just the way it is. And the laws that they have to go through in order to obtain this level of spirituality and of holiness. They cannot become defiled by coming in contact with a dead person, except for their intimate family, and even the Kohen Gadol, even for that, is forbidden. In fact, he is on such a level that even the temple he is not allowed to go out of. But he must continue working for the service of God. So there you have it. Either you got it or you don't. You are born a Kohen. Now, a lot of people out there have the philosophy of live and let live. Especially my buddies out there in the Western culture, from the old country, in the Golden Medina. Live and let live. Hey, as long as you're a good person, that's true. That's really, though, only half the story. It's even more than half the story, actually. To be a good person, to do chesed, to help out others, it's a great majority of the program. But there's more to that. There's more to that. And that is being born from the tribes into the Amskula. That's just the way it is. The chosen people. And because of that, there is a certain level of holiness. Now this theme that we see in the Parsha about the Kohanim and their level of spirituality and holiness when they worked in the temple in Jerusalem, we also found last week's Parsha, Kedoshim, by the rest of the Jewish people. They also are a cut above the rest. That's right. Kiddushim to you. You shall be holy, for I am the Lord. I have taken you out of the defilement of Egypt. And we will weigh down over there. And Kiddush Baruch Hu, in His great mercy, has taken us up. And there is, there is a price to pay. You don't defile yourself amongst the nation. There is a reason to stay Jewish, to hold on to this unbreakable chain for the last 3,300 years, all the way back to the revelation of Sinai. It's more than just live and left live. Be happy, be nice, everyone's together. Beautiful, John Lennon, break down the borders, imagine. It's more than that. There's another side to it. There's a side that tells us Yes, it's important to stay in the tribes, to stay on that level of holiness, on that level of Kedusha. And that's why we are required not to eat certain things and not to do certain acts and to keep the Shabbos because it's holy. You One might say, well, what does that matter? Does it really affect God if I eat this particular food or not? If I keep the Sabbath or not? Does it affect God in any way, shape, or form? Of course not. He does it for our sake, to make us holy. That's the other side of the coin. One side, yeah. Do chesed, do great things, do somebody a favor. That's the most important issue. But there's another side of staying kadosh, which is brought down in the Parsha about the Kohanim. And that is, yes, you may have to sacrifice for that holiness. You may have to not eat what you want to eat. You may have to go where you don't want to go. But in the end, we are that amskula. And whatever you do, you can't run. Oh, sure. 
You could try to run, but you can't hide. Can you? That's what the lesson of the Parsha is talking to us about. Yes. Love your fellow man. A great klal, a great principle in the Torah, as brought down by Rabbi Akiva. But there's another aspect to being Jewish, and that is the Kedusha, the holiness, that, yes, we should do it, we have to do it, and God gave it to us as a present for keeping the Shabbos, for eating the right foods, even though it doesn't sometimes make sense to us. But we will not break that unbreakable chain all the way down the line. So there you go. Some people have it. Some unfortunately don't. Some people are Kohanim. And some aren't. You're born with it. Cool. There's another aspect. Altogether. Whether you got it or you don't. You could always try it. I'm Levi Chazan. From Yeshivat Rayon Hayudi in Yerushalayim. Till next time.